Hello, my name is Elizabeth Gore and I am not only privileged but determined to be part of this, the I Touch Myself project for Chrissy Amplett. Well, you know, that first time I heard I Touch Myself, I thought, is that a song about masturbation? Of course it was. It was just being out there. And it's kind of sad and poignant that it's a breast cancer awareness song now because Chrissy's breasts, she so embraced them as part of her armoury. You know, she really used her sexuality as a weapon in a time when women could very easily be dismissed. She was smart and she didn't apologise for being sexy. So I touch myself as an anthem for breast cancer awareness is poignant to the extreme because it just doesn't seem feasible that someone as big and as strong and as you know, I don't care as Chrissy on the outside could be felled by something so intimate and close and every day. But I guess that was Chrissy, wasn't it? I first sat down and talked with Chrissy Amphlett when we were filming a documentary that I made in my Elle McFeast days called Breasts, which was a breast awareness documentary. But the Breasts project that Chrissy was part of, she wouldn't have known then that that was her fate. But that was extraordinarily successful and it was because of women like Chrissy who, as yet untouched, were prepared to talk about their relationship with their breasts and, and how important it was to be aware of it. It seems, it seems almost a crime that someone so bigger than nature could be taken down by something so basic, you know? But it just goes to show how vulnerable we all are. The Breasts documentary that we made with McFeast was extraordinary because it helped kick off this whole breast cancer awareness thing. My aunt was one of the very first people who, as a preventative measure, had both of her breasts removed and then rebuilt from belly fat. Um, she was remarkably brave and stoic about that. She laughed her head off saying finally she had the ideal breast cup size, a 12B, you know. But in recent times, a number of my colleagues have been diagnosed with breast cancer, girls who are in their mid-30s, mid to late 30s, and it's a worry. It's a worry because it's so finite in terms of should you choose to have a double mastectomy, uh, should you have a young family. It is uh, so important that you get it early. It is so important that you self-detect. Um, and I guess for women like me who are in their 40s, it's so important that you have the mammograms. I had my first one this year. Yes, it was squishy. Yes, it was weird. But at the same time, I felt like it was a loving gesture to myself. I was touching myself in this way 